So I'm recording this in June of early June of 2023 and I have big apprehensions about going into a building like that because in the space of less than two years we've had uh, two buildings like that collapse and make big headlines on the news. Right now as I speak there's a number of people unaccounted for in Iowa. Uh, the, the Surfside collapse also started with a lot of people unaccounted for and then they became a death toll. So. Uh, but um, I, I, I have a hard time getting over fears like that. Um, I had a big fear of flying for a long time after 9-11 as well. 9-11 was kind of um, tricky for me because after 9-11 happened, I remember thinking to myself, uh, maybe one day we'll have planes that fly a heck of a lot faster and at least we'll get there in half an hour and I won't have much to think about, right? I have family members in Taiwan. We can get there in half an hour someday. Well, two years later, another flying machine that could go to Taiwan in half an hour also crashed. It just gave me a, a, a bad feeling about flying in general. And these days it's building. I could, I could just mentally see what a collapse of that building would look like in my head. The middle section would come out and boom. And um, so um, even to this day, I used to work in a skyscraper in New York, uh, 30, 40 some stories. And I had a coworker who kept a parachute at his desk. It was only 30 some stories. I mean, it, I don't think a plane would, would aim, there, it would hit another building before it even got to where we were. So, But that just goes to show it happened in its formative years, and that's all he remembers.